Hi guys, it's Cynthia from Purgatory Paranormal. I hope you're having a great Sunday. Thanks for joining me. I'm on another cemetery stroll today to try to locate some gravestones for findagrave.com and take some photos, but also to do our stroll and do a ghost box session. If you could, I'd appreciate if you would like this video and subscribe and hit the bell so that you know when I upload next and do my live streams. I visited the newer part of this cemetery before but I've been looking for two older cemeteries and didn't realize that they've sort of been lumped into this one cemetery over time. They're not even on the GPS so you kind of have to drive around a little bit and look for the entrances in the old signage. But I did find them so I'm going to try to find some of the graves I'm looking for for the photos for the findagrave.com site and I'm also going to do a ghost box session. So let's go see who's here. I'm actually walking from, if you can believe it or not, the newer part of the cemetery, 1897 to 1974, and there's a 1902 to 2000 grave. I'm walking to the older part because the graves I'm looking for are from the early 1700s, very old. So I'm really hoping that I'm gonna find some of these folks. And I don't think I have to go down the dreaded berm. I'm just going to call myself the Burmeister because I'm constantly climbing berms to get to these things. This is a, wow, that's a big, big, big tree. And these folks are here, but these are not that old. Phoebe Keeler. Hmm. I was looking for someone named Phoebe at the last cemetery I was at, but never found her. The name was spelled differently though. So here we have kind of looking out over a much older part of this cemetery, but what I believe was a separate cemetery. You can see the difference in the gravestones. See how old they are? We're gonna get up closer to them. But even these, even these are newer. All right, let's go over here and see what we can find. Oh, that, wow, I just sank about a foot. I just stepped in a hole. Yikers, nothing like stepping in a hole at a cemetery. Yeehaw. Okay, so let's see what we got here. I'm just at the beginning of it. I'm gonna have to look at my list to see if I can find some of the names. Now these folks are all buried right here on the road, which I doubt was here when they were first buried. And this huge tree, which looks very old, was probably not here either. So I'm gonna look at my list for some of these names. And then I'm gonna start looking throughout this cemetery that just kind of goes over hill and dale here. Wow. There's a lot of headstones here, you guys, and they're old. So there has to be an even older part of this cemetery because the people I'm looking for, though their names, their family names are here, they're not, and they passed a lot earlier than the folks here. So I'm going to keep looking. There's another section over there, although it doesn't look older, it looks newer. I'm thinking maybe we'll go down the hill. Now this looks like a really old part of the cemetery. Look at the small gravestones and how dark they are. My guess is a lot of them won't be very readable, but I'm going to check them out. I'm getting closer to the old graves. Okay, so I've been walking around the cemetery for about an hour. My hands are pretty cold, but I'm wearing my heated vest, which is why I look so poofy today, but it's working great, keeping me warm. I'm really happy too because I found one of the graves that I was looking for. On, to upload a photo to findagrave.com to that family member who is looking for a photo of that old gravestone. So I'm really thrilled that I actually found one and I'll be doing that later today. In the meantime, before I leave, I'm going to do a ghost box session to see if any of the spirits are here or if any are visiting. Hope you enjoy that. Thanks so much for watching.
Hello, spirits. Hello, for In my what? My name is Cynthia. I hope you don't mind me visiting your place of rest today. Move up, please. Am I too far from the radio? You try another radio. Spirit, are you here with me? Can you tell me your name? Queen. Queen. Wanted. Wanted what? Have you been here a long time or are you visiting? My name is Cynthia. I'm a living human. Are you buried here? Are you here with your family? Are you here with your whole family? I'm going to try a different radio. I know this isn't easy. Let's try another radio. This is a radio. It's a device that you can use to possibly speak to me. I'd appreciate if you would try. Can you tell me your name? you try to use this device to speak to me? Can you use the energy in this radio, or the words that are being spoken, to try and get a message to me? I listen back to this later. I can listen back to this conversation later. Who's watching? Who's watching me? Who's listening? Are you watching me? It's all right. I'm visiting your place. Did you fight in the Revolutionary War? Medicaid.com. 
Pascal. Do you like it here? Where do you go when you're not here? Well, I appreciate you trying to speak to me if you did. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Goodbye, Spirits.